hello and welcome to another fabulous um, episode of No Limit Learning. Today, the wonderful leaders of Home and Leadership Academy will show you how easy it is to use the circumference formula to find the circumference of a circle. Now, my leaders are very smart. As you know, they're all from preschool all the way up to first grade in this group right here. They're the mayors and the governor class combined. So, they already know what circumference means. When you measure around the circle class, you're finding the circumference. So they know that it is the distance around a circle. It could be a small circle, a big circle, it could be a huge swimming pool. So what we're going to do first is I'm going to take the top off of one of my fabulous class. What shape is this? Raise your hand if you know. Yes. A cylinder. Okay, so this is a cylinder. And the top of a cylinder is what shape? A circle. It's a circle. So I've got my circle here. And I'm going to trace it onto the board. Bam, there it is. My leaders are so very smart. They already know what perimeter means, how to find perimeter. They already know what area means and how to find area. So now we're doing circumference. So I've got a beautiful blue circle. And that's my favorite color. I love it. So I've got my circle here. And I want to find out how far around this circle um, it is in inches. The leader. Can I take a ruler and wrap it around there? No. Nope, can't do it. I'll break my ruler. Can I take my tape measure and wrap it around this circle? No. No, it'd be pretty hard. So there's a very, very easy way to find out the distance around this circle, which is the circumference. Mm -hmm. So, I'm going to give you a formula, and the formula looks like this. Circumference, I'm going to use the letter C. C. Circumference is going to be equal to this really cool, crazy symbol. It's called pi. Pi. Pi times the diameter. Raise your hand if you remember what the diameter means. Yes, Ryan. The diameter is the middle of the, the a line going across the middle of the circle. Very good. So if I draw a line going across the middle of any circle, that is the diameter. So I'm going to use my inches side and draw a line going straight across the middle of the circle. Bam, there's my diameter. And I can measure how long it is. Who remembers if I just draw any line going across the circle? What is that called? Who remembers what that is called? Yes. Of course. Cool, very good. Fabulous for a preschooler. So, this is my diameter, and I'm going to measure how many inches it is. And it is close to six inches. So I put my six there. It's a little bit more than six, but I'll round it down to six. So it's six inches, six inches going across, but that still doesn't tell me how far it is going all the way around. So I'm going to use my secret magical formula. Ooh. And that's equal, the circumference is equal to pi. Pi is close to the number three. So since they're so young, I'm just going to have them use the number three for pi versus the three point one four three and fourteen hundred so pi which is worth how much liters three three times the diameter who remembers how much my diameter is from what i just measured six six very good so that's three times six now leaders i want you to think you're going to count by threes six times and tell me how much is that hannah 18. very good so three times six. Everyone count with me. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen. Very good. So three times six is eighteen. So the circumference going all the way around the circle, circumference is going to not be equal to, it's going to be approximately, I'm going to put these little squiggly lines, to say that it's almost eighteen. What am I measuring? Who remembers? Did I measure in inches or centimeters? Did I measure in feet? Yes? Inches. So it's 18 inches. So if I took my tape measure and wrapped it all the way around this circle, it would be close to 18 inches. And let's see if I'm accurate. So let's see if I can hold it and go all the way around. And voila, it's close to 18 inches. So very easy stuff, leaders. This is your first formula. Say, ooh, I got it. Ooh, I got it. So, circumference is equal to, who remembers what this is called? Say it loud. Pi. Pi times the 
times the D. D for diameter. Diameter. Everyone say diameter. Diameter. So if I want to find the circumference, that's pi times the diameter. Pi is worth three, and diameter when I measured it was six. You guys are fabulous. So this will conclude. No limit learning. Thank you very much. Bye. 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 Bye.